let's talk about foster kids in our community. And there are over 400,000 children in nationwide in the foster care system. Can you imagine being bounced from house to house? without your parents and just some of the things that they have to deal with well there's a big event coming up that is going to be raising money for local foster kids and we want to tell you about it because we have a couple special guests here joining me right now the executive director of the program which is called just in time for foster youth right? for foster youth and that's don wells right there don good morning to you and melissa gutierrez is here Hi. as well good morning to both of you and thanks a lot for coming in thanks for having us you got it um melissa let me start with you because you're a foster child and obviously you know firsthand how difficult this is um for the folks at home who might not grasp how tough this has been what was your childhood like? I mean, I don't want to bring back any bad memories or anything, uh, but what was it like being bounced around like that? Sure. Well, I think that the foster care experience, it looks a little bit different for everyone, but overall it's a challenge because there are a lot of people that are coming and going. I had several social workers. I was in several different placements, and it's challenging, when, especially when you're coming out of that system because it really is very systematized. So things are, are either done for you or there may be a lack of autonomy, a lack of voice, and so coming out, all of a sudden you, you have that voice and you're able to exercise that, but there's also pressures. You're expected to, to have it figured out, to be able to have a job and a house, and, and maybe you're looking to go to school or, or gain a career and and if you've been in transition for the last 18 years and you're just expected to, to have that stability it's not that easy no Keep that's asking a lot and that's where your group comes in right and as Melissa was saying if you think about your own children when they were 18 could they have gone out into the world without getting any more help from you or advice and just made their lives work and, and it just doesn't happen right so what we do is we have volunteers we have about 600 volunteers and we serve over 800 uh, youth every year that are transitioning out from 18 to 26 and our philosophy is that the big problem for foster youth is disconnection they are disconnected from their parents and their families and then when they're in care they're disconnected connected from the communities because as you said they keep getting moved around so we try to provide that connection so that they they have volunteers that they get connected with and we provide resources but those volunteers provide the relationships and become that community for them and I'm sure you have some great success stories we do and at the event that's what the event is really all about it's it's a it's it's not really a gala it's a gathering of our community to hear some of those stories and the the youth that we serve or the MCs they do the entertainment and they tell their stories of, of really success in overcoming obstacles because it, the, the whole idea and, and Melissa is, is a good example of this <laughs> it's not about you know my life was so bad it's here's what I'm doing now and here's what I'm gonna do in the future if only I can get the resources and and have those connections that allow me to keep progressing exactly and it's empowering for youth as well I mean coming out it's you're not only disconnected from adults from community but just knowing that there are others who have sort of shared that experience and are moving along the line, same lines and the same path so being able to connect with those I hear from a lot of participants it's great just to be able to be in a room with 70 other people that we're all moving towards those same goals it's yeah. very empowering well you must be proud of yourself you are now what 24 right 24 right. years 24 old for last year and <laughs> she, <I'm> flying. <laughs> and she was a participant with us but now she works for us right she's our volunteer uh, coordinator and, and who who better than someone who's been in the system absolutely absolutely to be able to deal with this right well we thank you so much and we want to put the information on uh, on the screen here I we have and that is the fundraiser that is coming up which is going to be up at the uh, La Jolla Hyatt right exactly. Aventine right and that Great is place. coming up do we have that information it's going to oh. be March 12th okay for what we'll do is uh, yeah we'll get we'll get that for you and we will put that on our website as well that is uh, next Saturday right at the Hyatt Aventine if they want to go to your website it's JIT fosteryouth.org and all the information's there you can buy tickets and at the event uh, there's about 350 guests but 70 of our of our youth will be there at the event sitting at the tables so again the people who are there can hear those stories firsthand yeah. I'm so excited it'll be great it'll be a lot of fun well thank you so much both of you for coming in and we'll put that information on our website so you can find it we can go to your website thanks as well. so much thank you thank you so much both thank of you. you all right take a look